I think mainly the opportunities which, which exist in America. If, if I was to shorten um, my, my decision, it's, I think it's, it's a place where you can make a name for yourself. Um, after studying here, you can go, you can go anywhere. Um, in the world and do whatever you want to do. Uh, U.S. is famous for, they have very good schools, they have very nice education system. The programs they offer, they have a wide variety of programs. I mean, there's more um, a chance here to get a, the education and the program that you want. And you can also have the opportunity to customize the program, which is not, um, this option is not actually available in other schools for example, in UK or Australia. Higher education in the US is one of the prime services that the country has to offer, and there's no doubt that um, faculty from all over the world want to be at American universities because of funding, because of reputation, because of the specialization of the programs that are offered, and so you get people from around the world uh, teaching and researching at centers in the U.S. The fact that they actually offer like so many like diverse programs that I would like to get into that just aren't available in Trinidad or for most of the Caribbean. They just aren't there. And also I looked at the U.K. but they don't allow you to double major and America does so that's why I'm here. <laughs> the United States is known to lead in the education category so that's one of the major initiatives that I wanted to come here. Basically, I thought it would enhance my knowledge and better my future, and the opportunities will be vast for me in the future. U.S. education is considered high quality, and you can pretty much do anything anywhere with a U.S. degree. That's probably the first most decision that I base it on. In the United States, they have a very strong business programs here. That's why it made me want to go to go study outside of Vietnam, specifically in the United States. I had been through an Indian system before, as well as a British system before that. So I had kind of gotten a sense of what the secondary level of that education system might be like. And I really enjoyed being in an American high school where classes were more open, more conversational based. And um, I think that was probably one of the biggest assets and one of the things I wanted in my secondary education.